Good morning, you guys. It is Zoe with Chestnut Hills Farmstead, and me and Red are at the farm. And today we're going to get all the chores done because Nick and I are headed back to Oklahoma. We are leaving first thing in the morning, and we are going to the Creators Conference, Creators United Conference, that is being put on by Daniel at Arms Family Homestead and Sean with Dutch, keeping it Dutch, and Jason from Cog Hill Farm, and also Lester at I'm a Survivor, and Jamie, she'll be there as well as a speaker. You know, we are, we are really trying to grow our channel, and we feel like it'll be very beneficial for us to go and talk to the people that know what they're doing. So you guys are going to come along with us while we feed the animals and we're going to take you with us on our trip tomorrow. What are you doing with Heidi? I was hugging her. You were? Yeah. That's such a sweet girl. Yes, she is. Honey. You do goats. Hold it up. Look, look in the camera and go talk to the goats. Hey, goats. Hey, goats. I can't see. Hello, my goaty goats. Good morning, Oliver. Good morning, Oliver. Hey, Jitsy girl. Hello. There's Bucky Bucky. Hey, Bucky Bucky. Reesey Cup. Reesey Cup, you and Bucky sure do look alike to not be from the same family. And Johnny Johnny. Yes, Papa. There's our girls. Our beautiful girls. And we had a scarf. Let's feed everybody. Good morning, food. There's you some food, Bucky boy. You and Johnny Johnny. Good morning to the piggies. Good morning. Six little piggies all in a row. Six little piggies. Y'all not so little no more, are you? You as big girls. Yes, you are. Big girls. So since our last video, we have moved all of the birds down the pasture like we always do. Here, Rhett, go feed Heidi. Her bowl's under the trailer. And so we're going to show you guys where we've got them now. We're about as far as our water hose is going to reach. We had gotten pretty spooled being able to fill up everybody with water the water hose so we are gonna 
have to start filling up the water tanks again and using those for the chickens and ducks and geese I'm just watching them there they see us so they're ready to eat so let's go see them so if you can see here this is where we had our ducks and geese and chickens before we uh, move them to their new paddocks where you see we've got one over there and one over here and they put a lot of pressure on the ground but that's exactly what we want them to do you know um, I'll show you guys what it's like after a few weeks up here we still got a little bit of cleanup to do the storm just destroyed our shelter logic so we're gonna have to do some mending on it and fixing it up so we can get it back in use but if you can see over here all this is super lush grass that grass I'm talking like if you didn't know better it's fancy grass but it's just very vibrant and green it's just beautiful beautiful grass all of this is just lush and thick it is so so thick are you hungry Eugene are you hungry Eugene are you hungry So on this side, we have an, our batch of meat birds. We got a big batch of turkeys because we are getting ready to do some turkeys for Thanksgiving. If you guys are local and you watch us, we have done a batch of turkeys and we do have currently have some turkeys available um, to sell. Uh, they are whole. They're frozen and they're fresh. And, you know, turkey's not meant just to be for the holidays. There's lots of people who eat turkey other times of the year. What is it, Stuart? What, Stuart? You need love too? Stuart, yes. Stuart needs love. We're actually going to be leaving the kids with their Grammy, which is Nick's mom. And it's just going to be Nick and myself going to Oklahoma. So every day they'll come out and do all the feeding and the chores. And they know how to do all of it, so it should continue like normal. So while we're letting the water tank fill up, Rhett and I are going to take you guys and show you a couple things we found in the pasture. 
and we are going to kind of update you where we are. We have mowed down all of the sunflowers. They have all done their job. They bloomed. It was beautiful. And it is time to cut down the garden. But we do have one thing to look at from that chance planted that he brought home when he was doing some summer reading classes that they started at school. What did Bubba plant from school? Uh, a watermelon. A watermelon. Let's see, we do still have some peppers coming. We've got several peppers. There's Chance's watermelon plant that so we've decided we're just going to let it go and let it grow. And we have a watermelon growing. We don't know how good it's going to be. It looks like something is trying to take a bite out of it. So it might not work out. But even so, we've tried. So this is our voluntary volunteer pumpkin which I don't think it's going to work out because they are covered in squash bugs. We've got one here. We've got one back there. And there's another one somewhere. Squash bugs? Yeah. See them bugs on it? They're everywhere. It's been pretty cool to find some pumpkin plants growing. I would like to do pumpkins one year as a fall crop. Um, they tend to sell really well around here. You know, everybody uses them for decoration. Rhett, come on, let's go get on the side by side. What? Let me see. I don't know what those pokey things are, but they're all over you. They're just pokies. They're just pokies? Yeah. Alright, so we're going to show you a little bit of what all the pigs have cleaned up. You guys knew that we put the pigs in the woods. Mom, they yeah. have spider web. You see a spider web? Where? Right there. I got it. Thank you, Foxy. Mama. Welcome. So you guys knew that we had put the pigs in the woods. And so let's go see what all they have done. I haven't been down here in a couple of days checking it out. So let's look and see.
this morning, Nick and I got up about four o'clock. No, we left the house about four o'clock. We got up about 3.15, got everything loaded and headed to the farm. Got everybody fed because the kids are in school, so they were not able to go out there this morning like I normally do. And then we hit the road and we are about halfway, I would say maybe a little over halfway at this point. And we've already been through a good bit of Alabama, Mississippi, and Tennessee. We're well into Arkansas, and we got to get into Oklahoma. So we hope to have you guys some content coming from this 